You may have noticed that Adventists vary in what they claim they believe or how they live their lives. So, what do all Adventists believe? Welcome to the Scratches Rundown of the Fundamental Beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, brought to you by Adventist Learning Community of the North American Division. Adventism is unique in that it doesn't require the following of detailed rules or a formal creed to be a part of the church. Instead, Adventists value the ability to challenge and question our faith so we can correct misunderstandings and errors and grow in our walk with God. So while many denominations hold permanent, unchanging statements of faith which cannot be challenged, aka creeds, Adventists have affirmed Christians should have no creed but the Bible. However, over the years they have issued various statements of belief, gradually moving toward a set of 28 fundamental beliefs. Let's look at how that happened. In 1872, Uriah Smith anonymously published a declaration of 25 principles taught and practiced by Adventists with the goal of giving the public a better understanding of who Adventists were. It was also to help Adventists distinguish themselves from people who claimed to be Adventist but clearly weren't. By 1931, these principles were reorganized and published in the 1931 yearbook. The doctrine of the Trinity, which the church had been moving toward in understanding for some time, was officially included in this document and thus the 22 fundamental principles were solidified. Now that they'd been officially summarized, leaders began to debate changes to the list. Some felt there were omissions and others thought there were literary inadequacies. At the 1946 General Conference session, it was voted that the Statement of Fundamental Beliefs should be revised only at a GC session. An ad hoc committee was appointed to perform revisions, and at the 1980 GC session, a set of 27 fundamental beliefs was voted that summarized the principles upon which Adventism stood. For the next 25 years, Adventists would hold to these 27 fundamental beliefs. At the 2005 GC session, the 28th belief, titled Growing in Christ, was added to address Christian struggles and relate them to Jesus' own victories during his earthly ministry, encouraging believers to stand firm in their faith and continue their growth in Christ. As Adventists follow the dynamic leading of the Holy Spirit in our understanding of Scripture, our theology reflects that in its dynamic development. Uniting over fundamental beliefs instead of a strict creed is what allows our faith to be alive and progressive. To read the full list of beliefs, visit adventist.org slash beliefs. And to get a weekly rundown of current topics, visit thescratchnews.com and sign up for our weekly briefs.